Three Rivers Archery, your longbow and recurve experts. Today we're going to show you how to measure and adjust the tiller and weight on your DOS bow. Uh, so what you'll need for these steps for measuring it, just a T-square. Now you'll have your bow set up and you want to check, uh, check the brace height, make sure that's where you expect it to be. Um, and then for measuring, uh, it's real easy. Uh, the tiller that's measured and the basic point for any bow is to have a set point on either side that's, uh, that you can measure. So where we have it, so we measure to the end of the limb pad. So we'll adjust this over and you go to the hard point of the limb pad here. So for this one, measuring up, we're looking at six and three quarters. That's our upper limb. Now the actual measurement isn't too critical. Um, it's just more of how they relate to each other. Because what tiller is, is it's trying to have an equal flex at the limbs at full draw. So you get the most efficiency out of your bow. And you will be adjusting it or playing around with it depending on your shooting style. Um, from shooting uh, split finger, three under, if you do string walking, um, all the different shooting styles will have that, uh, the balance of the limbs slightly different. So that's what you're using with the tiller adjustment to change it. So we had six and three quarters on the top one. And we put this on the string. Just let it sit. We are looking at, make sure that's set there, uh, just a little bit over six and a half. So we're just shy of a quarter inch difference on this one. Um, now what that is, that's considered positive tiller. And what you'll see on a lot of bows is from sit flush zero to about a quarter inch tiller for it. Normally you see that positive uh, quarter tiller, positive quarter inch tiller uh, for shooting three under if you have your bow set up for that. Um, just because you're putting more pressure on that bottom one, so this is a stronger limb. Now for adjusting it, what you'll want to do is you'll want to write down those numbers so you have them. All right, know where you started and where you're going. You will use a bow stringer and unstring your bow just so there's less tension on the bolts, make it easier to work with. So for the set screws, uh, there should be, depending on your bow, at least one or one on each bolt, but for the HT21 here, we have one on each side. So you'll just need to loosen those counterclockwise so that you can work, you can work on the bow or on the limb bolts. Now this allows for a few options uh, for what you can do with the tiller on adjusting the tiller, but you can also adjust the weight this way. And you're able to get about 5% up or down on, how, uh, on, on the weight. Um, so for the tiller, if you want to keep everything the same but just play with the tiller, uh, is you need to move the limb bolt uh, the exact match on either side. So what we do there is we'd go, and you need to be very uh, precise to make sure it's balanced so it's not changing anything. So if you do one full rotation down here, make sure you're doing one full rotation on the top limb in the opposite direction. Now if you're looking to add weight to your bow, have a, a bit more pull to it, you're going to do the exact same rotation on both, but have them matching. So for more weight, do a full um, clockwise rotation to add weight, and then to lighten the weight counterclockwise. So, to keep everything the same, we will do one full rotation down on the bottom limb and on the top. And then we have that set there for it. And now we will restring our bow. Actually, we need to put the uh, lock nuts. We're going to put them real loose right now. Just so we have something to work with. And... 
end. And feel free to pair, play around with, you know, where your tiller is going to be. Like I said, the standard is usually do zero uh, to a positive quarter inch, uh, depending how much pressure you're putting on the limbs outside of balance. That's why you'll see a lot of compounds will be set to zero because they're using a release where when you're shooting with fingers, you've got more pressure on the lower limb, uh, which is why you have it a little more positive. All right, let's measure to see where it's sitting now. This one is just shy of seven inches. I'm sorry, just over seven inches. That went up over a quarter there. Let's see how it relates. This one is sitting at six and a quarter. So a big difference there, and we only did one rotation on it. So that shows you just how much you're able to, to play around, and you don't really need to do a lot of turns or rotations to make an impact on your bow. So play with it, see what works for you and your shooting style and how your bow is going to react to it. Um, and then always remember, do it while unstrung and back out those set screws because those are there to make sure that it hard, holds firm. Uh, so whatever you have it set to, it holds it. Now, if you have any questions on tailoring or weight adjustment, please comment below. Uh, if you like the video, please hit that thumbs up. If you really like the video, please hit that share button to share with your friends and family. I'm Jonathan Karch with Three Rivers Archery. Thanks for watching.